A Colorado Sun reporter was kicked out of the Republican State Assembly this week after the party chair called her work unfair. Now, the removal of a seasoned journalist has sparked outrage with Republicans speaking out too. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon met with a journalist at the center of it all. You can have friends on Pokemon. Kind of an amateur. But no one would mistake Sandra Fish for an amateur journalist. I made a Pokemon friend at the assembly the other day. I won't go into who it might have been. <laughs> After almost 40 years of reporting, Fish was covering the GOP State Assembly in Pueblo on Saturday for the Colorado Sun. I had a text from him from 3.45 in the morning on Saturday saying that they were going to deny me entry because of my unfair coverage. Fish never found out what was considered unfair. I just went anyway because it's important to cover these sorts of events. This picture taken by Colorado Politics shows Fish turning over her credentials while being kicked out of the event. We as journalists have got to stand up and 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 fight for our right to cover what needs to be covered. State Representative Matt Soper, a Republican, was there. I said, whoa, this is not right. I felt um, really so em embarrassed, ashamed, shocked. His reaction on social media was joined by a handful of other Republicans. It may be one thing to call a reporter's reporting unfair. It's an entirely different bridge to cross when you have that reporter removed from a state party assembly. The chair of the state GOP, Dave Williams, sent us a statement saying in part, we make no apologies for kicking out a fake journalist who actually snuck into our event. Do you believe they were the right decisions? No, I certainly would have done things differently. Media has a duty to be there and to report. A duty Fish holds dearly. Democracy is kind of at a fragile state right now, and, and we need to be doing this work. And she knows the work matters. When a political party is trying to shut down reporting about them and their activities, the public should be concerned. Colette Bordelon. The public should know. Denver 7. Now, here's what Sandra Fish was covering in Puebla, the results of the state GOP nominating assembly. So thanks to her reporting, we know Lauren Boebert is set to appear first on the Republican primary ballot in June for Colorado's 4th Congressional District. Now, she won 41 percent of the delegate vote Friday. Former state senator Ted Harvey of Highlands Ranch will not be on the ballot. He got less than the 30 necessary 30 percent of the vote.